three women and you come down stage. I mean, just when I work with the dancers, I come in both with very clear images in my mind about how they're moving, the quality, what the essence, what the, what the movement metaphor, if you will, is. But then the dialogue starts. They are amazingly creative. It just, it needs to carve the space out, you know, so it's really... Every work that I create starts from a concept. The word achad is the Hebrew word for one. And I'm really looking at both the oneness of the individual and the oneness of the community. I think the evolution of achad came from many different sources. The company went to Poland to perform a work of mine called Mine Invention and took a trip to Auschwitz-Birkenau. And I began to understand the sense of community driven by an idea that really subordinates the individual it has a, a, a possibility of evil. And then September 11th happened. And it was the same idea again. The idea of being able to sort of give your life and sacrifice the lives of thousands in, for an idea. It's powerful, it's frightening in certain ways, and the physicality of it is amazing. Many times the choreography comes before the music, and then the choreography changes or the music changes, but it's a very dynamic process. The voice actually is the voice of a uh, great singer, Noah Solomon. Every other sound is, uh, is electronic. The wheel is a big presence in this piece, so the cyclical nature of a lot of the movements, the wheel itself, influenced a lot of the rhythmic vocabulary that I chose to use for the music. Thirty, forty years ago, they would have called it minimalism, and now it's really the, uh, the current rhythmic vocabulary. A lot of the popular music these days is written with, uh, with loops and repeating, short repeating fragments stacked on top of one another. Probably the most significant metaphor in the piece is the wheel, an eight-foot diameter aluminum structure, symbolizing for me the sense of the circularity of life, symbolizing the sense of structure. This wheel is large enough, strong enough, to support the entire cast on it, to become a vehicle for travel, to become an altar for sacrifice. become a place for the community to gather as well as to imprison and confine. There is a, a point in the, in the choreography where one of the dancers appears to break out of this pattern. And the, at the end of the piece, they control the wheel. They're able to work with it instead of having it control them. I guess the essence of Echad for me is this, is that there has to be a delicate balance between the individual and the community at large. If we go to either extreme, there's danger. Carolyn Dorfman Dance Company will perform three original works, including Ehad, on March 1st at the Shea Center for Performing Arts at William Patterson University.